Hey guys, I'm here usually this time. Today I'm going to show you a great and easy magic trick with only 8 cards. So yeah, let's get started. So, as you can see, I've got the 4 aces and 4 queens. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take the aces. So there's the 8 of diamonds, 8 of spades, 8 of heart, whoops. So, ace of heart and the ace of clubs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them down, one, two, three, and the leading ace, the ace of spades. And now I'm going to take one of the queens, which is the queen of hearts, I'm going to place it on top of the, the ace of spades. And I'm going to take the first ace, place it here, Look, uh, and so as you can see I'm going to make it disappear. One queen, two queens, three queens, four queens. What is it? It moved. It's now here. So, that's one ace. So I'm going to take second queen, queen of diamonds, place it here, right there. I'm going to take an ace, place it right here. And look, disappears. One, two, three, four queens, and no ace. Where is it? It moved. Second ace. So I'm going to take the third queen, queen of hearts, place it here, I'm going to place the ace, put the ace, sorry, and I look, one, two, three, four, no ace, where is it? It's here, and as you can see, I've got my four queens. It's very amazing. I'll be right back for the explanation. So, how does it work? It's very simple. All you need is four normal aces from a random pack of cards and four queens from the same pack of cards. So, they're all normal. There's no, nothing, nothing weird. It's, it's normal. <laughs> That's just it. So, let's get started. So, first you're going to take the aces, put them on top of the queens. Then you pick everything up and show that you've got four queens and four aces. They're all normal. What you're going to do is you're going to catch your pinky break uh, on top, um, under the five top cards. So what you do is you place your thumb on the, on the third queen and you just separate them kind of. But you don't show it so you it's just like this. You push back and you just place your pinky. So now you've got a pinky break. It's very simple. So now that you've got it, you take it, you take the aces, the aces in the other hand and the queens just go like this and say uh, you act as if you make a mistake but you didn't so you just say oh yeah, yeah actually I'm going to take the aces you don't show that there are only three cards here and say so one ace two ace very simple three aces and now I've just got a queen and an ace what you're going to do is instead of doing this I'm showing the queen you're just going to place it like this and it doesn't seem weird because it's the last ace so that's great. And once that's done, you're going to place the three aces when you've got a queen. So one, two, three aces. But these two are aces, don't worry. So one, two, and the leading ace, the ace of clubs. So that's it. You've got your four aces, except for the fact that there's one here. So now you're going to perform a double lift. If you don't know what it is or how to perform it, check out my video. There will be a link in the description. Don't worry. So you perform your double lift. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I missed. Basically, you take it and you you show that you don't show it, but you've got an ace and the queen. So a clean double lift and everything. You place the queen, which is in fact the ace here. Then you're gonna put this card, which is an ace, in third position, like this, and we're gonna perform what is called a Nelson count. I will make a tutorial on it. I think I already said it. I didn't have time. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to explain quickly what it is. There will be a detailed video, or you can just check out another tutorial. So, what we have is three queens and an ace. Um, when you're performing the El Elmsley count, always put the card you want to hide in third position, starting from the top. So, what you're going to do, you're going to hold your card, <laughs> your card, sorry, normal grip with your thumb. Push down and on the left, so you can see the other queen a bit. Cat with your other hand, you pinch it between two first fingers and the thumb, like this. You take it, and you're gonna press hard 
and push, which is going to push the two cards and therefore hiding the ace. So that you're going to push, catch it, and place the queen of spades on top. And now the ace is at the bottom. Ugh, this is there, sorry. So let me show you again. Take it, place it like this. It looks really natural, it's really good, you hide card. The only thing is, don't stay too long on the first cards because it's the same look, queen of spades. I perform my own count and it's there, queen of spades. So don't do it. And then when you're done, I'm going to put my ace here. Because when you're finished, your ace goes at the back. You just say, bam, it, uh, I don't have any more ace because you showed it when doing the MC count. And it's there. Wow, magical. So now I do the same thing, double lift. Put the queen here. You take the ace. Don't show it. Don't, never show the aces because this one won't be an ace. Put it there. Perform your Ramsey count. That's it. Done. <laughs> a clap. Your slap your fingers. Sorry, I can't speak to it too good. And there you've got your ace. Now another double lift. Place it here. And you do the same thing with what with what is a queen. Sorry. So, oh yeah, we've already placed it, so MZ count. Work on, on making the MZ count smooth, that's really important, otherwise it looks crap. If you just start somewhere, it, it won't look natural. So you just say there, and you end up clean, because you can show that you've got four aces, four aces, and four queens. So, I'm really tired, this was totally messed up, I can't speak properly, sorry. So, I hope this explanation helped you, and if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!